To bay or not to bay? Coming up. Yo, welcome back. We about to get this show started. My first topic, insecurities. Y'all ready to get into this? Yes. Let's let's get it. All right, cool. So we're going to talk about insecurities. Like, all right, I'm going I'm I'm to flip it around. Because I remember I did ask y'all what insecurities I was told y'all had, right? Mm-hmm. And it was lack of trust, right? For the most part. All right, so what What did, what, um, was it like a one and done deal? For you, or was it like a accumulation of multiple times of them? It's definitely an accumulation. Like yeah. I think for me, depending on who I'm dealing with, I'll always. It actually really don't matter. I give everybody three chances. That third time you mess up, it don't even matter what it three is. Three strikes you out. Yeah, three strikes you out, and I, I stand what by that. What if they fall? What if it ain't really they fall? What if it was just misunderstanding? What would not it, no, if it's the not. third time you out, it was not a misunderstanding. And at that point, knew, it's and I already told you about the first two times. More than likely, I'm letting you know one you had me up, and then two, second one, I'm like, all right now, that one's on me, but you got one more time before you done, and you know that. I've already communicated this to you, so. So what are, what are reasons to break up then? Like, because everybody has like, their breaking points when it comes to like a relationship. It don't even need to be. Mm. <laughs> okay, other than the obvious ones. Abuse, uh, Any type of mental, abuse. emotional, physical, mm-hmm. what else? It honestly can be anything, like anything that you repeatedly got to say to fix and they don't fix it, done. Yeah, because lack that, of accountability. Oh, gosh, I hate that. Because that comes down to a lack of trust. Mm-hmm. If you are communicating, you are doing your part and they're not doing their part, it's like, it's why keep fun. repeating myself? Why keep putting myself in that position to have that keep happening? Like, yes, I will break up with you and find somebody better if it gets to that point. It, and it will get to that point if you keep testing me. And that's the, that's my problem. People really think they can play with you, and I just be waiting for somebody to try to play with me because I be I be ready. So you ready to turn them a deal, huh? I be I really chill. Like I really am a really chill person. I'm very simple. Like everything I ask for in a relationship is very very basic. Like I mm-hmm. I don't need all the big stuff. You do that if you want to do that out the kindness of your heart. Cool. So you know I'm about to call you out, right? No, it was a hell of a ass. Cause I remember, cause I remember you told me you was like, my man has to be able to really not like not support you like he your dad or something, but that you like your man has to be able to support you because you're like if my friends are coming to me and saying, hey, let's go to California for a weekend, you're expecting your man to do that too. Now, what if he's not able to do that when you when you get with him? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what she's talking about. Cause anytime I go on a trip, <laughs> no, 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 listen. Cause the reason why I don't know what she's talking about is because anytime I go on a trip anyway, I'm only with girls. So I'm saying, what if you have a, what if you have a, but you saying like when you want to settle down with a man, uh huh, what, and he's not able to fulfill those needs. More than likely, I'm gonna know his financial situation. I'm not gonna put him in a predicament where he's gonna be embarrassed. I, why would I want to embarrass my man in front of my so, friends? So money doesn't. So money doesn't matter to y'all when it comes to the relationship. I wanna say it don't say matter. Never <laughs> said yeah, that. Yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, I gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? You, had you, home, said, you, said, you said that. You said convers- you said Cali trip. You ain't say regular, regular. Like. I feel like as you get older, money becomes more of a factor. As y'all mature in the relationship and y'all progress into bigger things such as moving in together, splitting bills. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna get into that too much. Okay. No, but let's get into no, it. no, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. Oh, as, y'all, as y'all get into more adult things, finances definitely play more of a part. Now, when you're talking about early adulthood, y'all living on a college campus, going back on home with y'all parents type yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit lighter. You don't have to have no you know, six figures. Let's let's be realistic. So let me ask y'all this: When it comes to comes to bills, because I'm not getting off that subject. <laughs> when it comes to bills, how y'all feel things should be broken down? I say fifty-fifty. 
I feel like it should be based on equity. If somebody That's, is bringing in 32000 a month and somebody else, not a month, a year, and somebody else is bringing in 150000 why would y'all split it 50 50? That doesn't I'm even sorry, make sense. No. For me, I wouldn't put myself in that position because I need somebody that's similar to how much I'm Y'all can start off similar. Y'all can make more. start off similar and they can get a promotion. I was just going to say that. If I make more. No, I mean, so what if he's making more? That's fine. But like, so, like, if he get a promotion, that, like, why y'all together, and he end up with that 100K a year, you going to break up with him? Like, look, I don't have enough money. I, I need to go get my 50, life together. 50. I say 50-50 because I'm just a type that's, like, I believe half and half. Like, okay. it's not just, you know, 80-20. The man does most of the work, and the woman puts in a little bit. Now, I also feel like those factors could change based off of certain things, mm -hmm. such as if he gets a you know, promotion and I don't have that much money or, but I feel like that would be conversations that you would have with mm -hmm. your significant other for them to understand or to figure out what's the best options for us to, of course, get the bills paid. Cause the, no matter how much you're putting in, the purpose is to make sure the bills is paid, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say 50-50, but all of that could change just based off a of little thing, such as, you know, like anything could change. So. Okay. All right. So, all right, I'm about to switch gears again. You know, I like to switch gears. So, you now I'm about to go back to last week's episode when I had my boys on here and we talked about how a woman's insecurities can affect a man's mental health. <laughs> Do y'all disagree? I feel like you need agree? to change your question. Can insecurities mess up mental health? That needs to be your question. Yeah, because it's not just women. It's exactly. That and see, that's all right. Flip. That, I, mean, that's I feel like Dion is probably asking us from our perspective: Can As our women? insecurities affect our significant other being a man? Yes, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. Thank you, Susan. I. He's about to be on your head. I can't. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I can't speak for every female. Of course, I can only speak for myself. For me, I feel like. I let my insecurities, you know, I don't let my insecurities get the best of me majority of the times because I'm getting better with it. But I also feel like if you're, if you have like a lot of insecurities, why even put yourself in a position of getting in a relationship when you could yeah, just Yeah, you, you need to go heal. Like you just, need to, <laughs> you need to heal first. But little things such as, yeah, you know, I may feel, you know, a little bit. You also fat. said that, you know, with human, we're emotional. Right, so and I have to disagree with you because I don't feel like healing is always um, you getting to a destination. I feel like healing is a process, and you mm -hmm. never know when it's going to speed up or slow down. And I don't feel like those who have been through things and who are healing don't deserve love or um, deserve to not have a romantic relationship because wow. we can say self-love, we can say platonic, our homegirls, we can say family, but at the end of the day, many people do want to have, you know, a significant other who they go home to. So I definitely feel like, well, what you're saying, yeah, you do need to heal. However, I feel like somebody who really cares about you will be willing to work with you as you heal. And, Facts. You um, just gotta place those, some boundaries. Of those insecurities. Yeah, but s there's a lot of people out there who will still put their insecurities on you, and literally mess up your mentality. Like when it gets to that point where you don't like you're always negative, and I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to love you and try to get you back to, you know, getting the love that you deserve, and you just laying negative stuff on me. Like, yes, that's going to mess up my mentality. That's why I say heal first or heal enough to know, like, heal yes, enough. like to understand, like, yes, I'm going to have these insecurities. Yes, I don't know when they're going to go away, but at least I know and I want to change them. There's some people who just kind of like just blinded by the insecurities and then they put their insecurities on their significant other. And that's not OK. Well, I will say this. I mean. Are you saying that you, in order for you to heal, you need to be by yourself? It's not just necessarily being by yourself. Um, you can get help from your friends or anything like that. But I just also feel like getting into like a serious relationship and your insecurities is for sure going to be one of the main reasons why it probably won't work out. I would say don't go in a relationship. But like Cece said, like you can find somebody to still love on you, but not have that seriousness going on because that can affect a lot of stuff. 
But what if insecurities arise while y'all are already in a relationship? Then that's what are you just going to break up? I'm insecure today. <laughs> no, because those insecurities come from whatever happens in our relationship, but that also should be established between those two. For instance, I don't come into a new relationship with trust issues. Those trust issues come when you have done something that I do not trust you for. But I will have that conversation with you, and if you're just not on the same page, maybe I'll give you another chance, depending on how serious the situation is. But if I give you multiple chances and you don't fix it, no, I'm not staying. It's not just a matter of waking up and just feeling like, oh, well, I don't love myself. I'm just going to break up with that person. Because it's life. You're going to have your ups. You're going to have your downs. But certain things like that needs to be addressed. Certain things like that needs to be talked about. Facts. And you got to make sure, like, when you're communicating with your significant other, you have to be listening. Like, you can't just be like, let's have a conversation about it. It's literally a, all right, look, I'm going to say how I feel and you say how you feel. And then we're going to talk about what ways are best for us to find a solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's the thing. What if they have, what if they have, um, what if they have an issue listening? Like, my thing is, is like, if you know, if you know what your issues are, right, how do you, how do you fix your own issues? How do you fix them? You heal. That's self awareness. That's on you. But how do you, you how do you heal? You do have to like know what the problem is first, because like a lot of people, yeah, they feel acknowledging like, it be the first step. Yeah. That and that ain't gonna lie. Women have trouble with that. Y'all have women, trouble. Women, it's have men too. Y'all have trouble. You know how many times a man say, you know what, I was wrong, baby. I'm sorry. How yeah, many of them? He didn't say that to pacify you. He because majority of the time they be flipping on. scripts talking about something. Like, you know, well, I you was wrong, but the this. reason why I did it was because right. you did if you, if you ask a man to apologize, don't do that, and you don't tell a man right to apologize, and you tell him to, to uh, what he apologizing for, he can't even tell you why he apologizing. As you can see, the topic is getting real spicy. Stay tuned for commercial. We're going to get on to part two. We're going to talk about privacy and keeping a relationship a secret and what's the difference between the two. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You know, first convo was very spicy. We're about to get into part two of the convo. What's the difference between keeping a relationship a secret and keeping it private? Now, I'm gonna go back to what you said about Beyonce and Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can't really use them as a good and good analogy because Jay Z. In two separate times, he talked about his relationship with Beyonce. One time, he talked about how he wanted to be in a relationship, but she didn't want to be. She cared more about her work. The song's called Lost One, for those who don't know what I'm talking about. And the next album, and then he did 444, he talked about how he, how he committed adultery outside of their marriage. Mm -hmm. And then she went on to make a whole album talking about what, talking about the case of the fact that of him being, you know, not honoring her how he's supposed to. That was to. entertainment, though. I meant, like, the details. Like, what all these other couples we see. I mean, because at the end of the day, they're still together. So, so there's something going on behind the like behind their relationship that we don't know about. So let me ask you this. Do y'all think social media causes the influence when it comes to what's the definition between a secret and privacy? It's yes Absolutely. and no for me. Because I think, you said no. It's yes and no for me. I feel like... In a relationship, you could post on social media, but like at the end of the day, whatever you post on social media, people are gonna talk regardless. So withholding it from social media not gonna stop people from talking. So you could put it on social media, but you only you can show people what you want them to see. You don't gotta show all the extra stuff. So yes and no. Okay. No, I mean I agree with that honestly. It's a picking and choosing because you, what you don't want is for those that's like you know, private or don't want no problems outside of the relationship, the best thing is to try to limit social media because 
there's people out there that be wanting to be in people's business and they be finding out every little bits and pieces of everything. People and then be probably, watching. Mm -hmm. people and then you got watching. those that be trying to break couples up just from what they see on social media. It's like, if you really want to step. There'd be a lot of that. Hmm? There'd be a lot of that going on. It does. What you, what you don't want to do is that if you're trying to establish a good relationship just in general, you don't want to keep putting your business out there because if something bad happens, you put it out there. Guess who else sees it? Not just people getting excited you. about that type of stuff. Be like, oh, they about to break up. Let me go right. ahead and shoot my shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they be waiting. They be plotting. <laughs> people be waiting their turns for real, and that's both for like the girl and the boy. So you just gotta be careful in what you put on social media. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've seen quite a few, like quite a few of my friends in their relationships, and I, I kid you not, y'all. I know like eighty percent of their problems and everything just from social media alone yeah i can't front because like when i think of it i feel like because of social media it's like if you're not posting your significant other you keeping them a secret yeah that's what a lot of people think or like if it's only on close friends mm -hmm. you only want certain people to know so i guess that might be private um you're not complete or keeping them completely a secret mm -hmm. but people do put a lot of um wait on if you are posting your significant other on social media which i feel like is just a little problematic because you can very much be you know having them on social media be the ideal boyfriend or girlfriend and you cannot be posting them you know trying to keep it private and still mm -hmm. be doing dirt so you nice. know i guess it just depends on the people in the relationship what they choose to do and their actual behaviors social media to me um doesn't really solidify anything all right so mm -hmm. i'm about to switch gears a little bit now, y'all remember how when I had my, my, my men up here, we talked about talked about how women can be toxic, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all remember how? Mm -hmm. this I ain't even say shit. I'm just, I'm just remembering the show. It was so, funny. That's so, all I yeah, say. I'm just messing with you. So, um, so just remember how we were saying like, why why do women feel the need to when a man shows interest in them originally, but she play them to the left? because maybe she's interested in somebody else. Then try to double back to the man that originally was showing her the interest, but now he acting different. He acting completely different now. But then be quick to say that he wasted my time. Okay, first off, that's not all women. No, not okay, not all women, mm -hmm. not all. I'm going to say, because I don't be doing that. Yeah, if I, I dog say, you, I dog you. I'm not going to let you after that. I would never, like... Yeah, I got friend. I know y'all got friends that do that, Yes. Y'all got friends that do try to double back and then try because to complain. Because they like the chase. Like, yeah, I was about they to say, like when men chase them. So the when they no longer it, chase it, them, it, 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 it makes it interesting. Everything. It mm -hmm. makes you a little bit more interested makes, in that person. And for some people, for some women, especially, like, a couple of my friends, it builds up their confidence in loving themselves because they see that there's men out there that want them, that will chase after pressure. them. It's, it's just pressure, but I'm not going to lie. If you're saying, like, if a girl is actually, like, not talking to the dude at all because she want another dude, and then when that don't work out, then she come back, okay, that that might be a little OD. She's going to have to be the one to put on the pressure at that point. Mm -hmm. But... It just depends on the situation. I mean, but she, she does put the pressure on, but it's just a case of, it's like a, you know, it's like she was entertaining them, mm -hmm. but she had two choices. She chose one. It was the wrong choice. So now they, now it's like, oh, Not let me see what's up choice. with him. But I feel like that's better he than play her. You now. He play you because you play her. But she couldn't originally. foresee that happening. I feel like that's better than her trying to keep both of them on the same level. Like, yeah, yeah I'm going to keep it with you. I would have did, did both. Like, yeah, like. It's just toxic. Because if you, <laughs> like, if you were to ask a guy that, if you were to ask a guy that question, would you rather a girl who you're interested in, she's interested in somebody else, do you want her to, you know, wait until that situation is done, or would you like to be in competition with another man, and she's yeah, seeing you on nobody. the weekend, and she's seeing him on a weekday, so like, so do you want to be number two, or do you want to be fighting for that number one spot? I ain't fighting. I ain't fighting. It's, too many, fighting. it's, too, fighting, many, it's too many women in this world to it's fight a lot over of women. one. So I, a lot it's of men it's some men out there that be fighting. I'm yeah. going to say that. Yeah. And I don't it understand. may not be him, but there's I men out there fighting that for that number one spot. Camera one. I'm a camera one, right? <laughs> 
for y'all men, please stop fighting over women that y'all know y'all lost. Stop fighting. No, no. Stop fighting. please stop. No. You might no. win. Just, no. just, just no. move no. on, no. dog. Don't do it. Just move on, <laughs> dog. <laughs> like, you over here. You over here. It's not that. Making yourself look crazy. Didn't, didn't it's not even all of that. Yeah, didn't and you want to say that men are natural born hunters? Still might not even get the girl after the fact. Oh. Then you say men are natural born hunters and pursuers. Like, how Ooh. you just gonna let another man Ooh. come and take your spot? But do you know, that easily. But do you know what? You know also in the, uh, you know also was a case in that. What? When you know you lost and you can't recover that area, you <laughs> move you on you to the lost? next area. You, you move know on you to lost? the next. You move on to the next free okay. amount of land. You, you can gotta, start your kingdom up uh, that way. But you also gotta keep in mind that like. Depending on how much they're attached to that particular female, okay. it's not it's not going it's gonna be hard for them to be like, oh yes, because you're right. There's plenty of fish in the sea, but there's always that one particular fish that we kind of Grab try to get one more, yeah. more than all. Because and we find you, that you're one not going to know who that is others. until you kind of like but go you know, figure but, it out. But and I feel you. It's just that like for for me, I just don't understand when. Just like for instance, here at Winston, like just let's just say that I don't know these numbers are correct, but let's just say it's, it's like for I want to say someone told me at one point in time it was like it's like a fifteen to one ratio between men and yeah, women here women at Winston. Yeah, women outnumbered men by a lot. So yeah. it's like, mm -hmm. yo, you fighting for one woman when there's nine other for you to go get. But maybe he wants that one. <laughs> right. Maybe yeah. it is maybe that one. Maybe she possesses something that the other 16, 17, 18 do not have. And that comes down to perspective. Like like mm -hmm. I said. There's plenty of fish, but we all want the rare one, right? I'm not gonna lie, it's plenty of fish, but each fish is not the same. So exactly. you gotta figure out which one you really would rather want. But my thing is, is and you've that never been in man, a position like that, so nah, yeah, that's uh, the thing. Yeah, you, nah, when you get in that position, myself. then come back to us and tell us how Ooh. you feel. Ooh. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I feel you, but I, I just can't. I won't allow myself to do that. I won't allow myself to get emotionally attached to somebody that I know is talking to more than more than just me. It's like, if, you, if I know for a fact, like, if we start talking, and I know for a fact you were talking to other men, at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do. You single. You do what you want to do. But I'm not going to put myself in an emotional position where I'm going to be like, I really want this girl. It's not other dudes. It's not other dudes trying to go get her. Okay. I'm, I'm moving on. I had the same mindset before mm -hmm. I was in that situation for five years. Five years, That's I wanted crazy. that one particular guy. There was plenty of people that wanted me at the time. And I was just like, I didn't know mm, I want this one. But and the thing is, I can completely understand that like, from a woman's point of view because at the end of the day, it's way more of y'all than there is of us. So wait, you can you understand from a women's point of view, but you yes. can't understand it from a men's point of view? No, because as a man, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. And it's that's the same thing. See, and then that's that's always where the disconnect is. They always say it's not the same way back and forth, and it is. It and they is. keep trying to make it think, so if different. If you think and about it, not. if you think about it from a okay, if if your if your emotions and your heart is involved in it, okay, I can understand that. No. But if you are thinking from a numbers aspect, there is more women than men on this world. Okay. Okay, let's take away gender. Let's just take away gender for this okay. particular moment. Talk to we okay. all are human. We all have emotions. We all are at least going to be attracted to one particular person, no matter how long it is. You have never had that experience, but that doesn't mean you won't. So you're speaking off of your mindset mm -hmm. and not thinking of being in somebody else's shoes. Because I guarantee you, Hope, see, me, we were at least attracted to one particular person that we wanted. That was hard just letting go of that particular one because there's other yeah, fish in the sea. Over there, so yeah, Drop she the gems. Oh, God. Like, she just, you just dropped the mic on me? Yes, yes she did. She you're, like, you. you're saying men this, men that. And Take away the men. Take away the women, the gender role, and see it from a human point of view. And because a lot of men what? really think like that. They just mm -hmm. be like, oh, well, women think like that, and it's because their emotions be in it. And it's just like... First of all, we're it's the same way. Beings, like y'all like y'all swear y'all do not have emotions, and, and then right. y'all get mad when women that, they get mad. Serious, they're passive aggressive. They just have they have and a certain just like, way. But you that don't even they take yourself theirs. seriously. You don't even take your own emotions seriously. So how are we supposed to? Exactly. Well, I mean, no, you're not. I'm not. First of all, I want you to understand. I'm but not it's disagreeing toxic, with you. But it's toxic. What you're saying. <laughs> what, what is to it's toxic. It's toxic. Yes. You're like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I personally don't. I personally don't because understand. Because you need Deon, to go and find out. Yeah, no, we, we're I mean, trying to tell you, open your mind up. Like, it's yes, not like, just a women's mindset. But you want, but you want me to? I I understand because you're saying take away the gender role, take away a man, take away a woman. 
you can't take that away. Like, no, yes, but, you can. you no, can. when it comes down to do be, that. you're being closed minded. You need to be open minded and understand that it's not just you among it's you among other men, but not every man thinks thinks the same no, way. No, every man does. No, That's yes, right. I agree with you're that. thinking like whoa. Women, you know, they're emotional and they're so attached. His voice. I know, right? Because that's him. That's so toxic. That's, good, that's a good invitation. That's but a good it's one. just like when you take away particular things, because you're thinking, you're talking like men this, women that. Mm -hmm. You take away men, women. There's individuals. Everybody is gonna have a different experience in life, but we all have something in like similar experiences. We all are emotional beings, and sometimes we can't let go of certain feelings, certain attachments with certain people. And it's not just with women, yes, but it's women. also with men. I'm you not may see, with yeah, you. but you may see that more in women. But you also need to look at around your surroundings, how your friends feel with certain people. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I do. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with y'all. What I'm trying to get y'all to understand is, is that. Before you put yourself in that predicament, you need to analyze what you got going on. If you already go, if you already know going, it's one thing if you if you meet the person and then it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you thinking it's just them and then you finding out a bunch, bunch of people, that's one scenario. But it's another scenario when you already know, you already know what you're getting yourself into. I feel like if you already know what you're getting yourself into, then you can't, I'm not gonna have sympathy for that person. But, unfortunately, this is going to conclude part two of episode three. My ladies, we'll be back for the finale on part three. So we're going to talk more about it. I'm going to have male and females on it. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Peace.